yeah here I am going to demonstrate uh, uh, the installation of uh, uh, Liblive CD uh, I mean uh, librarians live CD it was called because uh, uh, this live CD was created using uh, Ubuntu Lucid operating system with uh, pre-configured D space then uh, PKP harvester and Koha which is a library management uh, software uh, before you uh, install this software make sure you are uh, uh, installing this on a, a, a system without data okay preferably a new system but even uh, otherwise uh, if you are using uh, an existing system uh, make sure you have taken a backup of your files and start installation because uh, this installation process uh, will erase the entire hard disk and uh, that means uh, it will re reformat the entire hard disk so uh, another precaution you have to take is um, you have to make sure that your system is uh, bootable from uh, CD-ROM drive so either in CMOS setup or by pressing F9 you can choose the boot device as a CD drive okay once uh, you put the CD in your drive and restart your system uh, after a few minutes uh, you will come across uh, this uh, screen with two options that is try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu uh, personally I prefer try Ubuntu for the simple reason uh, even um, when I am trying uh, I can always go to installation of the Ubuntu uh, uh, 10.04 at a later time and on the left side of the screen you will come across uh, lots of languages uh, unfortunately this live CD doesn't have uh, any of these languages except uh, the English language so normally the official Ubuntu uh, live CD will have options to load I mean you can choose uh, for installation process uh, any of those languages but in our case uh, it's only English so once you reach this stage just click uh, try Ubuntu okay and uh, wait for a while as it takes uh, some time to uh, put it in the memory so you can always work from the memory okay for example if you say click me it will uh, open a browser okay where uh, say uh, where hyperlinks are provided for various uh, software that are uh, related to library and information science are loaded for example dspace uh, classic interface if you click this uh, it will open the dspace screen anyhow that's not our purpose this is only for uh, if you want to try uh, any of the software that are loaded onto the system you you can use click me otherwise uh, you can double click uh, install Ubuntu uh, or alternatively just uh, uh, right click and say open so once you start this uh, the it starts the installation process okay of course in this uh, just read whatever that is written okay and then say forward once you click forward uh, it tries to set up the clock uh, depending on the country you are in and uh, also if you have internet connectivity of course uh, from the time servers uh, on the internet it will bring the time not only the region but uh, the specific time of that region anyhow there is nothing much we, we, we can do here uh, then uh, we say forward again then it says about the keyboard layout uh, which is normally the US keyboard uh, layout and uh, you can go ahead uh, with forward again okay now prepare the disk space this is the most critical and uh, aspect of this installation process okay so here you have to be uh, careful and uh, you have to decide the partitions of your hard disk uh, according to your requirement but if you are not sure of it okay use uh, erase and use the entire hard disk okay but if you think uh, 
uh, you want to specify the partitions of your hard disk which I normally prefer I, I, I choose this right now of course I have um, uh, a 260 GB hard disk uh, with me and uh, I say specify the partitions and I say a uh, uh, forward so now it says uh, uh, there is only one hard disk uh, which is uh, called the SDA and I want to use this hard disk and so I, I mark the hard disk and they say uh, a new partition table I want to create and it says uh, uh, you have chosen the entire um, this one okay fine that that's what I would like to have now so it has identified uh, on your hard disk right now there is a, a free space of uh, 257 uh, GB okay of course uh, you may have a different size hard disk but normally you require uh, a minimum of uh, uh, three partitions uh, one is swap partition which is normally the double the size of your memory say for example if you have 2 GB use this swap as uh, 4 GB okay uh, Ubuntu operating system itself uh, takes very little but in future you may la add a lot of software for that reason we we create a root partition uh, to have more memory okay so now we have to create the partition tables so I mark free space and say add okay it says uh, it's a primary one okay um, the system allows you uh, three primary ones anyhow we are thinking of only three partitions but if you think of more partitions of course rest of the other partitions can be logical partitions okay it picks up uh, the entire 256 but I don't want to use the entire 256 for the uh, root partition so I will choose about uh, 25 GB for uh, the root partition okay and it says ext3 ext4 and uh, you have of course many other but anyhow the latest ext4 we use it and mount point should be root okay so just a, a slash and then say okay so now it has created uh, a root partition now we have to create two more partitions uh, one is swap so again in the free space I click and uh, add one more partition I require only about 8 GB okay I use again primary partition for that and uh, say 8000 uh, MB okay because this is in uh, m megabytes and I want to call it uh, only a swap swap normally you will find uh, here somewhere uh, a swap partition okay this is the swap area okay and I say okay then it has uh, so the rest of the um, <coughs> disk space I will use for home partition where uh, the users uh, users data everything will be created I say add this and I use the entire uh, uh, space that is left out and still I say it's a primary partition and ext4 general system and I call it home or uh, you, you can click the pull down and pick up uh, home okay then finally you say over so once this is done okay practically the installation process is over except the system keeps on asking you to supply some information okay uh, which is uh, fairly self-explanatory then I say forward then it says uh, what is uh, uh, your name okay I in my case I say um, just um, um, ARD okay what the name you want to use it for login or for example I can say a ARD Prasad then it pick up uh, ARD and I give uh, library as my password and I have to repeat again library as password and it says uh, desktop of course if you want you can use uh, any desktop okay for example uh, my desktop is uh, this is the host name for example tomorrow you want to call uh, it as DL okay your host name followed by your domain name uh, domain name will be added to this uh, host name called lib here it shows uh, the password is uh, weak because I have given uh, 
just library uh, without any numbers or special marks and other things but anyhow system will accept and we, we can always change the <coughs> password but this is important because uh, he he will be this login id would be a kind of um, uh, a, a substitute user for the system administration password would be same as uh, the password of uh, this user then i say forward then it says uh, ready to install uh, i say okay uh, again install <coughs> now uh, it keeps formatting the partitions okay that is uh, home partition root partition and uh, swap partition and here onwards uh, it takes a little more time uh, uh, for installation purposes okay uh, this depends because after all you are transferring about 640 mb files onto your hard disk from the cd and besides uh, it tries to configure uh, uh, the default system values on this so now uh, it starts copying the file uh, but if you have internet connectivity uh, it takes more time to install for the simple reason it tries to bring a uh, lot of uh, updates uh, from the internet okay so if you don't want the updates uh, you can always say skip it uh, right now it shows uh, 140 150% this is ridiculous okay uh, for some reason it shows wrongly but again uh, uh, don't worry about the percentage after some time uh, uh, it will uh, it will be more sensible numbers will appear so let us wait okay so the precaution uh, meanwhile i i talk on something else uh, this particular liblive cd uh, as i told uh, d space is completely pre configured okay that is one good thing and uh, uh, even if you want to use library management system like koha it is yeah now you see uh, it is uh, making uh, quite a sensible 79 percent which is reasonable uh, but again it is trying to retrieving um, uh, about 20 files uh, from internet okay if you don't want the if you are in a hurry and you want to install first and uh, you want to do updates at a later time you can always uh, say skip here okay anyhow uh, this especially is important when you have very slow internet connectivity and it would take really long time uh, fortunately in my institute we have i think uh, fairly good internet connectivity so for each software it says it takes about one second two seconds like that so it brought all the ones but otherwise again um, it, it will keep on bringing lots and lots of updates and perhaps sometimes uh, the languages also see now it brought all the required and um, now again uh, it is trying to uh, do the installing the system and downloading language packs uh, this takes about now two minutes and uh, 40 seconds but if you think again you can always uh, skip so one of the advantages of uh, this uh, live CD I have also put um, uh, though I did not uh, uh, install all the languages of the world but Ubuntu allows you always to download uh, the various languages uh, which you require but again I have created uh, uh, I have installed IBUS software which facilitates uh, input in various languages of course using Synoptic you can uh, download the fonts of uh, a particular language for example you want to download Malay or Hangul or something like that first you using uh, Synoptic uh, download that uh, and using IBUS you can always uh, input in this space or in Koha um, the scripts of uh, your country okay it need not be English always you can have multiple language input uh, uh, using IBUS so now we have another uh, 25 seconds to finish uh, hopefully uh, almost the, the, this uh, installation is over of course I am using a, a very fast system 
with 16 GB main memory okay perhaps that may not be the case with you uh, you may use a slightly lower end system in in which case it may take uh, a little more time now it is uh, trying to run a DPKG which is um, a, a package manager where you can uh, using uh, Synaptic and others or DPKG you can install always the required software so in addition to this software I have also pre-configured a mail server okay and uh, a da two database systems like uh, PostgreSQL and MySQL software also I have loaded so uh, the final step would be it tries to configure the hardware and uh, uh, I think uh, more or less we are reaching the end now it shows about 93 percent now bootloader comes uh, technically you can install um, two three operating systems okay if you want but uh, as you are going to use uh, D space on a server uh, you cannot have uh, two three operating systems on a server because uh, somebody may be accessing then you switch off and go to another operating system means they lose the connection with you so finally the system says uh, restart okay then you click restart uh, then the system goes down and the next time it's ready for you to use you can start uh, boot the system from the hard disk okay that is as simple as that using the live CD okay buy with that uh, fine everything is all right okay now of course uh, once you restart as I have created uh, uh, it shows uh, yeah the Prasad okay then I used uh, library as my password then uh, you get uh, a click me but this time you did not get uh, install Ubuntu okay so if I say click me now you can use all the software here you can see uh, DSpace classical interface mannequin and if you want to log in as an administrator enter uh, DSpace at localhost and uh, password is library which you can always uh, change once you are familiar with DSpace uh, this is uh, to demonstrate uh, the OAI PMH protocol support for uh, DSpace but uh, this is even more interesting that is uh, if you want to collect uh, uh, metadata from various digital libraries you can use OHS which is um, from Simon Fraser University and if you are interested in Koha which is a library management software it is Koha admin and of course you can see the OPAC unless you install you cannot access the OPAC but again here also I have given uh, what are the admin logins and passwords which you can always access so that's it the demo I think uh, hope you are successful if you have any further doubts uh, you can always uh, write to me ERD prasad as one word at gmail.com